I was injured fighting for this country and now I have to live with the fact that my legs are gone. You certainly go through a, a massive period of denial, you know, like there's no way this has happened. This is just a horrible nightmare. And I, yeah, I struggled. I really did struggle. I'm dealing with an injury and that's going to have mental effects and you've got to be quite strong up here to deal with stuff like this. I think once I started thinking about what I'm going to do with myself, who do I want to be when I get out of here? And I think I quite quickly stumbled on the Paralympic idea. I knew what I wanted to do, I knew that's what I was going to do and I just had to find the right sport that fitted me. Asking for help's never easy. I'm eight years on since being injured and I'd say I'm only just about getting a handle on it. If I hadn't have got over that anxiety about asking for help, there's no way I would have got on the right pathway and got to where I need to be to, to be in a position where I'm going to be able to go to a Paralympic Games, to do amazing expeditions around the world. You know, I'm, I'm healed and I'm fully capable as a person now to do this stuff and, and that pathway has been facilitated by asking for help from the people out there that want to help you. Some days you're going to have down days. You're going to have days when, when it sucks. You're going to have days when it's not fun. But then that's what the support network's there for. That's why you have Help for Heroes. That's why you have your family there. Try and make the best of what you got. Try and fix whatever the problem is. And make the best of life because as a veteran you've earned it.